Our first speaker this evening is Rob Rogers. Good evening, board. I'm Rob Rogers, a district resident, and as of May, I've only got a rising junior at Liberty. Mr. Lavalley, hold on to your shorts because I wouldn't have even signed up to speak tonight if I didn't feel the need to thank you publicly for the conversation a few weeks ago. And it was hard and confrontational at first, but I personally felt pretty okay at the end. And I think we both learned some things about each other. And I have no doubt that we both have the same overarching goal, which is provide an excellent education for kids. We may have different thoughts about how to get there. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. And there's plenty of room in the middle. So thank you for the conversation. And I hope that we can do it again sometime. I did want to pass on a couple of other items as a preemptive courtesy. Uh, I gave you some uh, information too that someone should have uh, passed on to you. We have it. Uh, Christopher Rufo is the Council for National Policy and Heritage Foundation operative that has publicly admitted that he manufactured the outrage surrounding critical race theory for political propaganda purposes. He recently announced that he would publish a series of papers focused on gender, gender identity issues in K through 12 schools. This is the same modus operandi used when pushing the false CRT narrative. This new outrage is almost inevitable and I would encourage the board to keep Mr. Rufo's history and malicious intent in mind when you hear this new narrative. And finally, the Culture Impact Team at Church for All Nations recently announced a special event with Moms for America, yet another of the Christian nationalist organizations that have become so popular in this area. And normally I wouldn't even mention in this forum, however, El Paso County School Board presidents are being advertised as appearing. And Mr. Lavalle, if you're invited, I would just respectfully ask that you remember the potential impact that words spoken by extensions of government organizations can have. And I promise that if I see the names of private citizens on flyers, you won't hear a word from me. Thank you very much.